Wave Country, I'm John Ramsey, and welcome to the Wednesday edition of Wave 3 Listens Live. Everyone knows about the importance of a good first impression, and it begins with a beautiful smile, and we can make that happen with Freedom Mini Dental Implants. With me once again is Dr. Mm -hmm. Reagan Ackerman. Dr. Ackerman, welcome back to the show. Hi, thank you. Okay, and I asked Hello. you, and you said it's okay. I said, can I say happy holidays? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yes. It's I listen to early? Christmas music on the way over here. I'm one of those people. Sorry. Yeah. No, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. <laughs> Uh, you notice she has a beautiful smile, so she's not just talking the talk, mm -hmm. she's walking the walk. Uh, we're going to tell you all about Freedom Mini Dental Implants, and I guess I wanted to relate to the audience a little bit, the folks out here are watching, and, and this I think will resonate with you. You've told me this before, but I just want to hear it once again. What's mm -hmm. the most common complaint you, you get from, from patients when they come in to see you? There's, there's a lot of complaints, but there are several that are top of the board because um, dealing with a lot of denture patients, mainly the biggest thing is people hate their denture because it limits what they can eat, what they can do, their lifestyle. It inhibits their life because they can't taste their food. They're afraid it's going to flop out in the middle mm -hmm. of a conversation or a dinner. And it just it affects their life and their confidence are the, the biggest things. Yeah, so. don't don't they like the taste of that glue as well? It's no, <laughs> they <laughs> hate the glue and they want to get rid of the glue, and so that's why they come and see me. And um, we've got great options with the mini dental implants, a much less invasive way of getting implants. Yeah, so. th this this is what mini Freedom Mini Dental Implants mm -hmm. is all about. It is a really it's I'm not going to say it's new technology, but it may be new to mm -hmm. some. Yes. The old method, doctor. And I want you to confirm or deny this. Really mm -hmm. involved a lot of surgery. A lot of it surgery. It was very invasive. Yes. It was a long process. Tell me a little bit about the old way before we get to the Freedom Mini Dental Implant okay. way. Okay. Yes. So the old way, you're right. You could multiple appointments, um, cut open stitches, long healing appointments. You know, have to heal up for six months to a mm -hmm. year. It's a process. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of blood sometimes we don't deal with blood in our office really okay very minimally invasive uh, the mini dental in implants compared to the old surgical way um, and you're right a lot of people haven't don't know especially denture wearers because they haven't been to the dentist maybe in 10 years or so so they may not know that this option for the snap in denture or the permanent teeth is is out there now so. yeah there, there's a couple of different options and it's really not specific to any certain age group of course it's not any certain gender it's just people who would like to you know be more comfortable and throw away their dentures that's that's the main event here but there's other methods or other times when this is needed as well mm -hmm. so let's talk about both of the methods here first okay. of all um, what if you want your own teeth back? What if you want to completely say, look, I'm going to throw away the dentures. I don't want any plastic in my mouth. How does that work? Definitely. Yep. So I'll pick up this model here. Mm -hmm. And if you all want to kind of zoom in on it. So this is a great way to get rid of the denture completely. So this kind of shows your mouth, you know, without any teeth. Okay. So this is, a, this is your mouth. This is this no plastic. This is your mouth. Right? No plastic. Yeah. The pink is just your mouth. That's not going in your mouth. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and then you come in. And I will just numb you up. I do not have to put you to sleep. I do not have to sedate you. Minimally invasive. I am just going to get you numb, a few little pinches to get numb, and place these little mini implants. And I'm not making any incisions, no stitches, anything like that. Very minimally invasive. And for the permanent teeth, you know, we'll put anywhere from 10 to 12 implants in. And then we make this beautiful bridge of porcelain teeth, okay? and this will cement on to those implants and it stays in permanently like John said this is the closest thing to getting your natural teeth back you no longer have that all that glue you don't have to use denture glue nothing's covering the roof of your mouth anymore taste your food taste your food again you don't have the bulkiness of a denture and this is not going anywhere it is strong and it is you know you the freedom to smile and chew That's to right. do whatever you want with you know we kind of call this the the permanent teeth solution it's the closest thing to getting your your natural teeth back as possible and it's a great great option for people yep and, so. and you you supply an irrigator yes so that, that's all you do is you just kind of clean yep. them that way yep. and now the other way for those who want to get rid of the glue and feel more secure and be comfortable with the smile this works as well yes yeah and this is a great option as well um, you know and it's a little bit more affordable option but it's what we call the snap-in denture okay so same thing you know this is your mouth without teeth okay 
We're going to put the implants in the same way. We just don't put as many implants in, okay? But no incisions, no stitches, no bone grafts, no sinus lifts, all those scary terms you might have heard, um, things like that. And the day we put these implants in, we'll have your denture or a new denture that we made for you, and it is going to snap in, snap onto Tightly, those implants firmly. that day, okay? So the day we put the implants in, you get to leave with your denture snapped in those implants, and you no longer have to use denture glue. You don't have to be embarrassed about your denture falling out, moving around. You know, you can have the confidence to, to go out and do what you want to do. All so. right. And it doesn't matter if it's a bridge, if it's an entire, entire set of dentures, if it's one tooth, five teeth, whatever the case may be, Freedom Mini Dental Implants can help you. Okay, I want to take a look at today's case because okay. proof's in the pudding. Yes. Yeah, you, you mm -hmm. see, this this kind of uh, affects you in more ways than just appearance Definitely. and more ways than just eating, you know, what the foods that you can enjoy. It's kind of this whole confidence thing going on. Definitely. So tell us about today's patient. Uh, so today is Audrey. She is a fantastic person in general. So, awesome person. Um, and she came in, hated her dentures, kind of everything we just talked about, you know, couldn't order what she wanted off the menu, they were moving around, um, so we did snap and denture for her, and afterwards she was just ecstatic, and I think if we show her after picture, you'll see ah, the smile. Ah, there we I go. Mean, just a huge difference. Looks so much younger. Yeah, so much younger, and it just, it, her smile fits her personality. She's such a bright person and has such a nice bright sm smile now. Um, I think the biggest thing, because I always ask, you know, what can you eat or chew now that you missed before? And her, her thing was pretzels. Everybody, she wanted <laughs> to eat pretzels again. Um, so she's able to eat her pretzels again as her snack. So, um, but yeah, that was a wonderful case. She's just a great person too. So. Dr. Ackerman, I would think, now that's a great picture because I do think not only does it show mm -hmm. appearance wise, but that's a confident smile. Definitely. When you see the after picture, she's happy. And there's a lot to be said for just being comfortable in your own skin, feeling comfortable about your smile. Holiday pictures are on the way. Yes. You yes. want to proudly smile yes. and have the family happy, yep. right? And everybody wants to eat what they want at Thanksgiving, too, there we go. and not have any lim limitations. <laughs> Thanksgiving's coming up with all that good food. Yeah, so. good point. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and, and I know that you see a lot of patients who come in, or potential patients who come in, who are so uncomfortable with their smile, they cover their, yes. their mouth. Yes. Or... Uh, they've had to avoid their favorite foods, like you said, mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and yep. there's people who like fruits, vegetables, um, and these are actually, you know, nutrient dense, right. so you're missing that side it, of the equation as well. It right? affects your overall health. Mm -hmm. Like you said, it's just not appearance. It's, you know, digestive, you know, being able to chew foods and actually chew them up and swallow them affects your whole digestive system and your overall health. Um, for sure. So it, it's definitely not just appearance, um, a lot yes. of it's overall health. And, and eating those veggies and, you know, carrots and apples and things that are healthy for you that some people, you know, missing teeth or yes. with dentures, they can't do that. You know, we take it for granted. So, for sure. So yeah. mm. Before we go to break, I want to grab at least one phone call. By the way, if you'd like to call in if you have a question for Dr. Ackerman and you'd like to see maybe you're a candidate or maybe you have a loved one who might be a candidate, 571-5263. Let's talk to mm -hmm. Debbie. Debbie, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for watching. Hi. Uh, I was wondering, uh, is there any kind of guarantee on the denture, the implant teeth, themselves? Yeah, certainly. Great question. And I get that a lot from people. Um, yeah, it, it kind of depends on your scenario, but a lot of times we take care of you. Um, you know, the goal is to not have any issues and not have to worry about a warranty. Um, but a lot of times, you know, with a denture, as a lot of denture wearers know, you can have a tooth come off or crack or something like that. So we always say the first five years we're going to take care of you, no charge, anything like that. Um, after that, with any denture repairs, there'll be a small charge with the lab um, fee is. Um, but as far as the implants goes, you know, when you invest in us, we invest in you, and we're going to take care of you for sure long term. And so. I think it's important to point out too these porcelain teeth that you make yeah. when you want to have replace your permanent, you know, have like permanent teeth, mm -hmm. very strong. Yes, those are the strongest thing we make. I mean, those rarely does anything happen with those so if it does we are going to take care of you for sure All so right. definitely good question great well, question thank you for mm. calling Debbie and you can call as well again 571-5263 we're going to go to break coming back more of your phone calls Freedom Mini Dental Implants with Dr. Reagan Ackerman we shall return it's the Wednesday edition of Wave 3 Listens Live
A local brewery with beer so good, it's getting attention across the globe. How long did it take you to learn all this? David Mattingly takes you inside Against the Grain Brewery and Smokehouse. Tonight at 11 on Wave 3 News. Watch The Voice, Mondays and Tuesdays on Wave 3 News. Then enter to win a prize at wave3.com. Enter the Voice Watch and Win Contest. Sponsored by R&B Roofing and Remodeling. It's gotta be R&B.com. I've had type 2 diabetes for 12 years. I've gone out of town on more than one occasion and either lost or forgot to take my medications and to be able to call and get the prescription and get what I needed for the weekend is a, a real plus. I may have diabetes, but I've never let that get in the way of me living my life. Good Neighbor Pharmacy. Locally owned, locally operated, locally loved. Westmoreland Pharmacy, 1495 East 10th Street, Jeffersonville, 1945 State Street, New Albany, and 7600 Highway 60, Sellersburg. Welcome back. We're talking to Dr. Reagan Ackerman, Freedom of Many Dental Implants, and we talked about the different different methods here, different procedures. Five seven one five two six three. If you have a, a question, I also wanted to point out. I mentioned the fact that there are some folks. Maybe it was an accident. Maybe they were born missing a tooth, and they feel really uncomfortable mm -hmm. with their smile. You can help yeah. them there too, can't you? Yeah, it, it doesn't just have to be dentures or missing all your teeth. Um, here, I'll kind of show you all this model. All right. Um, so yeah, this model kind of shows you scenarios. If you're just missing maybe one tooth or two or three teeth, um, we can do that as well. So, you know, same process of putting the implants in, no incisions, no stitches, just a little, you know, numbing, um, where we, you know, put the implants in. And the great thing about this is once the implants are in, um, you know, about very soon after that, you know, three to four weeks later, we can cement these permanent teeth onto those implants versus the old surgical route. You had to wait maybe like six months to, Oof. you know, put those teeth on there. Um, but yeah, we can do it. You know, this kind of shows you here too, just for a single tooth. Okay. Um, yeah. Like you said, baseball accident, basketball sure. accident, something like that. Um, we can do just one tooth um, or multiple teeth. Um, a lot of people that have a partial they'll do this and then we can throw away that partial and get rid of the partial. So it doesn't have to be, you know, you're missing all your teeth by any means. Um, a lot of people, I'm gonna go ahead and set this down now. Um, some people are born without, you know, front teeth, like you said, and especially teenagers, they struggle with having to wear this retainer and it's just terrible. And, you know, teenage years, it's not sure, fun it's if you're missing no. your front teeth. So, you know, I've done several cases like that where they get to throw away that little retainer flipper that they had to wear and now they've got permanent teeth and they're confident again and can do what they want to do and go to prom and the dances and go. smile and not have to worry about that. That's right. So, so yeah, there's multiple ways that we can use these mini implants. Yeah, it, so. it is amazing when you think about it on how many levels you're affected by your smile and your mm -hmm. teeth. It really is. And I think it's important to note you may have been told by another doctor that you don't have enough bone to do this type of procedure. Yes. You do. That's the great part about this technology is unlike the old way, it doesn't require much bone, does no, it? No, we always say we don't need a lot of bone. We just need some bone. Um, I have multiple patients have come in and said they weren't a candidate for implants, the surgical implants, um, but for the mini implants, they are definitely a candidate. Um, we don't have to do bone grafting. We don't have to do sinus lifts. Um, some people worry because they've been told they had gum disease and bone loss. Um, a lot of times we're still able to do uh, the implants. It's pretty rare that we have to tell Say somebody no. Yeah. no. Yeah. yeah. So It's a rarity, and you can have a free consultation mm -hmm. at Freedom Mini Dental Implants. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the phone. Uh, we ask for calls, and we certainly appreciate a call from Lee. Lee, thank you for watching. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, my question, I have two, if you don't mind, please. Sure. Certainly. One of, them, one of them is if you've already got teeth and some of them are missing, say half your teeth are missing and you got half your teeth, and, and do you remove all the teeth and then, then put in the implants? Is that, mm -hmm. is that, is that so, doing something like that? So several different you know scenarios there. If you're missing half your teeth but the other half that you have is still good, then we can replace just the half that you're missing, okay? Um, but if what you're saying, if the other teeth are, you know, in bad shape and maybe need to be extracted, then yes, we would talk about, you know, extracting all of them and then doing, you know, either one of the snap-in denture options or the permanent teeth. Um, but either way, it can go either way depending on, um, you know, the remaining teeth that you have, if, if they're in good shape and we want to keep them. But yeah, we can do either way. Great question. And you have another question? The other one is okay. I've never had a smile. 
if I smile, I look like I ate a canary. You know, that's my smile. So okay. if you put in implants, can you make it look like you got a smile? I mean, like yours, I can see yours on TV. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It looks beautiful to have a smile like that, but I've never had a smile. I've uh. always been stone face. Yes. And that, you're the person that I love to help out, and people like you I help out every day, and definitely, yes, um, we've changed people's smiles all the time. Um, we can definitely, you know, change your smile, pick out a, a, a brighter shade, you know, change the shape and size of your teeth, you know, definitely, because that's why you're here. That's why you come and see me, so we can get you smiling again. We don't want you stone-faced. We want you to be smiling and happy, so, yeah. Lee, I really invite you to come um, to the office. It's free consultations. All you have to do is call and set up an appointment um, and let me take a look and see how I could help you because I would love to. I, I think those of us who oh. just heard that call, that breaks my heart yeah. because this is a guy who obviously, intelligent guy, has a lot going on, I'm sure, and he would love to be able to smile yeah. and he just cannot do it. So, what the options are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. So, free consultation, I yes. think that's important to yes. mention. So, yeah. uh, Lee, if you can get into uh, Freedom Many Dental Implants, please do. Let's grab another call here and talk to Gene. Gene, welcome to the show. Thank you for calling. Thanks for watching. Yes. Yes, go ahead, Gene. Uh, I lost a tooth that's been about five years ago. Mm -hmm. And upper, and I was told that I'd have to have surgery to have that one tooth put back in. I was wondering if that's possible or can yep. you put a single tooth in like that? Yes, I can definitely do a single tooth. Um, we do it all the time. And yeah, more than, that's why I do the mini dental implants is because it's not surgery. We don't have to do that. Um, so, you know, like I kind of explained, no incisions, no stitches, and we can do a single tooth like that. And you've, you know, it's been missing for five years now, so it's all healed up and it's probably ready for an, a little mini dental implant. And we can get that tooth back for you. And, and once again, I invite you to come for a consult because I'd love to help you out too because I, I do that all the time. Definitely can be done. Mm. Thank you for the call. Appreciate it, Gene. Let's grab one more before break and talk to John. John, welcome to the show. Hi, how are you guys? Doing Hi. well. Uh, what my question is, I'm a 40-year-old man, and with me being a, a younger guy, I think younger anyway, mm -hmm. um, I have my front teeth, but I don't have any back teeth mm -hmm. on the top or the bottom. I didn't take care of them when I was younger. Okay. So my question is, if I walk in, am I going to walk out? with teeth in my mouth or do I have to wait for a healing period or do I walk out with no teeth and then have to wait two or three weeks for things to heal and then I don't have any teeth so people right. see me with no teeth? Yeah, no. So the way it would work is, um, so yeah, you've already healed up because we do have to have healing up for about four months. So if you've been missing those teeth since you were younger, you're healed up. So the day- oh, That's on the back, that's on the back. Back, yes, yeah. Um, and so the day we put the implants in, um, you know, you'll walk out with some temporaries and then it takes about three or four weeks to get the permanent kind of nice pretty porcelain teeth back from the lab. Still significantly shorter amount of time than the six months waiting time of the surgical implants. So, but, um, but in whatever scenario, I know you're talking about just back teeth, but you know, say it's all your teeth, things like that, you're never not going to have teeth. We, we have ways of making sure you have temporaries or things like that if for some reason you do have to go through a healing phase. Um, but we'll always make sure people have a, a smile and teeth and, and things like that. So yeah, good question. Thank you for the call, John. You yeah. mentioned the word significant, and another point I'd like to make is it's significant less cost. Yes. Because if you've been taught about, you know, and told about the surgical method, and maybe you're a little apprehensive because you go, whoa, that really affects the bank account, and we're all watching our checkbook about this time of year during the holidays. Right. Significantly less, Significantly right? Significantly less, yeah. I'd say on average um, about half the cost cool. of the surgical implants, yeah. I mean, I know one tooth surgical implant, you could be in the four to $5,000 range. I mean, we're, we're half of that. So for Ouch. one tooth. So, so yeah, I mean, normally about half the cost. So it's significantly less, so, which is another reason we like doing what we do, because people can afford it. Um, you know, it's hard for people, you know, they, they have that loose denture or that one tooth, and you hate for them not to have something sure. because they can't afford it. 
Um, and we definitely have financing plans too that we work with people because we want people to have this treatment. We want them to do it. So. Excellent. Man, it's, it's, if you're wondering, you're saying it sounds too good to be true. Mm -hmm. It's all good and it's it all is. true. It is. <laughs> Freedom Mini Dental Implants. Freedom Mini Dental Implants. Mm -hmm. Call today for a free consultation. We'll take more of your calls. 571-5263. You're invited to call if you have a question about Mini Dental Implants from Freedom Mini Dental Implants. We'll be right back. Win a house, help a child. Hi, I'm Shannon Cogan here to tell you about Norton Children's Hospital's raffle. Imagine winning this beautiful home in Norton Common or a 2017 BMW 2 Series convertible from BMW of Louisville and $10,000 cash. You could win it all. Tickets are just $100 and your chances to win are pretty good. For tickets, call 559-KIDS or visit home and BMWRaffle.com, our open houses or these sponsors. Win a house and help a child. Tell me something that makes a bubble bath even more enjoyable. How about some toys? All new Family Feud. Weekdays at 4 p.m. on Wave 3 News. It's the Light Up the Holiday Sales Event at the Kia Stores. Turn heads in the new 2019 Kia Stinger for only $239 per month. Receive a 50-inch flat screen TV with any new Kia purchase. If you have a job bringing home $350 per week, we want to approve your credit. Only at the Kia Stores. We love the feeling when we get to kick an insurance company's butt and, and really tell our client there's good news coming their way. Hurt in a car? Call Sam Aguiar. If your loved one has been injured or is being abused or neglected in a nursing home, there is something you can do. Call the Nursing Home Injury Hotline at Hughes and Coleman. It's the Light Up the Holidays sales event at the Kia stores. Drive off in a new 2019 Kia Sportage for just $189 per month. Receive a 50-inch flat screen TV with any new Kia purchase. And we want your trade, even if you owe six, eight, even $10,000 more than it's worth. Only at the Kia stores. Freedom Mini Dental Implants. If you have a, you know, a challenge with your smile, perhaps you're not comfortable with your smile, perhaps you just like to throw away your dentures. Well, guess what? The Santa Claus of teeth is here. I like it. <laughs> you like it? I like it. <laughs> yes, it's Freedom Mini Dental Implants with Dr. Reagan Ackerman. We go back to the phones. Lots of questions whenever they come up. Great I think questions. this is, yeah, they're great questions, yeah. and I think there's a lot of folks out there who just didn't know the answer. Yes. And that's what this show yeah, is all about. Yeah. Let's yeah. give you some options. Yeah. Uh, let's talk to Joe. Joe, welcome in, and thank you for joining us. Okay, uh, I need to find out. I've got uh, what to call horseshoe dentures. Mm hmm Yes. And I get try to use a gasket sealer all the time to hold them in. And I've got a uh, major question: Can you take my existing dentures and make my uh, make the implants? That's a great question. Um, it has been done. I can do it. It all depends on what your denture looks like because, you know, if you've got a 20-year-old denture that's worn down and really thin, um, then the answer is no. I would make you new dentures. Um, if it's a denture that I can work with, I just have to have the right thickness um, because with these implants, let's see, I don't know if mm -hmm. they can focus in on it. Um, there's little attachments that go inside, so I just have to make sure I have the right thickness inside the denture. Um, so that's a great question, and I have done it before. So if you're in love with your denture, then, you know, as far as you just want to stay in better and get the implants, it, it just depends on the thickness of the denture. It can be done, okay? Um, so that's a great question. And once again, I just invite you to come for a consult because without looking at it, I really can't give you a definitive answer. So, but great question. Yep. So. Great question. They've all been really yeah, good today. Yeah, very good. Well, let's yeah. grab another one. 571-5263. Guy, welcome to the show and thank you for watching. Hello, Guy. Hello. Yeah. How are you doing? Doing well. Yeah. Well, I'm a, I hope the doctor can tell, you, tell me some things to where I'd be feeling well about my smile. Well, this is what I got. I got uh, 12 of my teeth down at the bottom, and we got a little crowded thing going on down there. Okay. And uh, I got seven of the top, and it's still some crowded going on. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and I'm missing uh, some tooth up the top and some tooth down at the bottom also. Okay. And uh, I just want to know what you think. Well, if all you, you're looking to do is replace the missing teeth, then, you know, we could just replace missing teeth. Um, mm -hmm. Now, if you're worried about the, the crowding issue, you know, that just depends on what you want to do. If they're in good condition and you want to save them, 
that might be something different out of my ballpark as far as eating braces or something like that. Um, but if they're not in good condition and you think, you know, that they all need to be extracted, then we uh, can, you know, get you a pretty smile, get you get them all straight with either dentures or the permanent teeth. You know, there's lots of different options there. So. So what do you think I, I should do? Go to the dentist and have them check them out first, and then come back and see you? You come to me. Come to me first, and I'll tell okay, you so if I think. Okay. This is why I asked you that so. because I already done called your uh, office. Oh, okay. Did you make an appointment? <laughs> Am I gonna uh, see you? Uh, they uh, <laughs> told me to leave my name and my number. Okay. And, uh, information. So I did all that. Awesome. Well, I know they, we will get back to you for sure. Okay. We'll call you back and get you on the schedule, guy. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We're going to try to cut to the chase here and grab one more. Steve, welcome in. You have a question for Dr. Ackerman. Yes. I have three teeth missing at the top. Mm -hmm. And uh, years ago, some years ago, I went and had a CAT scan done of my jaw uh -huh. because they told me they had to put the implants into the bone. Right. This was years ago. They had to put the implants into the bone for... Um, for the procedure to work, I guess. Uh -huh. And I have good insurance, but I, um, I, I, hearing you talk about it, it doesn't seem like you have to go into the bone. And I'm just wondering, has it changed since maybe right. 10 or 12 years ago? Yeah, so this procedure is a little different. Um, it still has to go into the bone, okay? But we just don't have to have as much bone, and I don't make as big of a hole in the bone, let's say. It's less invasive. Um, so it still does, the implant has to go in the bone because that's what holds the implant in because that's what holds your teeth in your mouth okay um, so but this process is just a lot less invasive I don't have to take away as much bone I don't need as much bone um, as the surgical way um, so that's a great question and thanks for kind of clearing that up for probably everybody else out there that was wondering the same thing there you go <laughs> All right, before we go to break real quickly, a little before and after of Audrey, who we showed earlier. There you go. Now, yeah. that is a confident smile. Yeah. That, that makes me feel good. We'll be right back on Wave 3 Listens Live. If you live in Kentucky and you're eligible for Medicare, Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield can help you get a great plan at a great rate. Our Medicare Advantage plans pay for many of the costs original Medicare doesn't. So you can focus on other important decisions. Anthem plans help protect you from high medical costs. And new for 2019, an allowance for health items at Walmart. Plus get dental coverage, vision benefits, prescription drug coverage, and access to over 15,000 fitness locations nationwide. Also new for 2019, choose an essential extras benefit to help you live a healthier, more comfortable life. If you live in one of the following counties, you can get a plan with $0 monthly premiums. Call now. The Medicare enrollment deadline for Kentucky is December 7th. So call Anthem today at 1-888-265-2738 to learn more or to schedule an in-person meeting. Phone lines have really been hot. I want to thank you, Dr. Ackerman, for what you do at Freedom Mini Dental Implants because obviously there is a need. Definitely, definitely. That's why I do what I do. Oh, and I love meeting everybody, everybody, all the patients, and helping them out, for sure. Really appreciate yeah, that. So. All right, happy holidays to you. Thank you. You too. <laughs> all right, hopefully you're smiling. If you're not, Freedom Mini Dental Implants. We'll see you tomorrow on Wave 3 Listens Live.